Dr. Eva Lon is the medical director of cardiac health and rehabilitation at McMaster University. She took to social media recently to call on Palestinian protesters to, quote, be deported where they came from. Yara Shafani, a member with Palestinian Youth Movement who has organized some of the protests, says it is not surprising. Um, and I think that these comments really reflect um, a broader attempt that we've been seeing, um, which is to really dehumanize Palestinian. In a statement, Dr. Lon apologized for the comments, claiming they were said in the heat of the moment. Dr. Lon said her comments were meant to target protesters using hurtful language that supported violent means towards Jewish people, but says she was unaware of the weight of her words. But Shafani says her past comments are what make this more troubling. Two years ago, Dr. Lon called for Palestinians to be relocated to Jordan. And years prior, taking shots at sitting U.S. Congresswoman Ilhan Omar, calling for her to leave America and referring to her as ISIS, a terrorist organization group. Dr. Lon says she made those comments following alleged anti-Semitic tropes used by Omar. The most recent comments, though, are disturbing to some. These types of comments are unacceptable completely, especially coming from a physician. Dr. Alia Khan is a physician herself and professor of medicine at McMaster University. She said Dr. Lon's comments are disturbing. Comments like this indicate that that person holds a negative uh, sentiment towards individuals of that particular racial group or rel religious group. And I would be concerned about the type of care they provide to members of that particular group. Dr. Lon told Global News she has received numerous hate messages. Hamilton police have confirmed they are investigating those allegations. A petition calling for Dr. Lon to be fired has garnered over 3,000 signatures, and officials with the university say it is conducting a review into her comments which they say do not align with the institution. Tabassum Wine is the executive director of the Muslim Advisory Council of Canada. Earlier this year, they conducted a study with help from McMaster about Islamophobia in healthcare. She says McMaster needs to take drastic steps to address this issue. They need to know they will be held accountable. That anyone promoting Islamophobia, anti-Palestinian hate, or anti-Semitism, especially within healthcare institutions, should face measures for spreading hate. Amar Khan, Global News.